how to behave in meetings with clients and your teammates as a junior consultant. Hi everyone, my name is Johannes Niari and welcome to this channel, welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, we want to help you to learn the necessary skills to have a great career start in management consulting. Before we start, let me thank you for taking the time to watch this channel. I know you're probably very busy, so it's very much appreciated. And today we have a great topic. I will share four tips for you as a junior consultant on how to behave in client and team meetings. This video will mainly help you in four ways. So first of all, it will improve your consulting skills so that you have much better career chances. Second, it will give you a clear structure and clear guidelines on how to behave in client and team meetings. It will third, make meetings much more fun to you. And fourth, it will help you to support your consulting team in the best possible way. The tips that I will give to you are based on my own three years of experience as a management consultant and on many coachings that I did for interns and junior consultants. But as always, although the job is very important for all of us, keep in mind that there's also a life besides work. So with that being said, let's start. And let me begin with a short backstory. So when I started out in management consulting a couple of years ago, I did an internship. And I remember one specific meeting during this internship. So we had a team meeting and the project manager was attending, all the teammates, but also two partners. And in this meeting, we had a very active discussion. So we were thinking and discussing about potential solutions for a certain problem that our client had. So it was a kind of brainstorming session. Uh, we went to the whiteboard and uh, wrote many things down. And it was just a very active and open um, atmosphere. Being an intern, I thought that I would not have much to contribute to that meeting. So I let the more senior people do most of the talking. And afterwards, um, the project manager came to me and he gave me some negative feedback. He said, Johannes, if you attend a meeting, we want you to contribute. And he highly recommended to me to be more active the next time. So a couple of weeks later, we had a very similar meeting. And this time I was completely different. So I did quite the opposite. Instead of being quiet and passive, I was very outspoken and active. So I engaged in every discussion. I tried to talk as much as possible and to get as much screen time as possible so that other people would see how much I'm willing to contribute. Unfortunately, and to my surprise, I again received negative feedback from a project manager. And this time he said that I was way too active and that I was even kind of annoying in that meeting. And obviously I was kind of confused because in the one meeting he said I was too passive. In the other meeting he said that I was way too active. So I asked him for advice on how to behave as a junior consultant in meetings. And he actually shared his advice with me and these are also the tips that I want to share with you today. And I followed his advice and I benefited quite a lot from it. So after that, in my internship, I received very positive feedback about my behavior in meetings. And also during my first year as a consultant, I also received very positive feedback about my behavior in meetings. But even more important, it increased my social intelligence because I developed a very good feeling on how much I should contribute to a meeting. And this still helps me today. So let's start. Let's start with the four tips that I can give you on how to behave in meetings with the client or with your team as a junior consultant. So tip number one is that you actively take notes and that you actively write the protocol. And if you attend meetings, then you will realize that the senior people are very much engaged in all the discussions and that they are mainly busy doing the storytelling or uh, leading the discussion into a certain direction. So they usually don't have much time to take notes themselves. So one way to support your team is that you as a junior consultant actively take notes or use a protocol form if there is one available. So one way of you as a junior consultant to support your team is that you take the responsibility of documenting the meeting. And for example, this can be in a very short meeting, for example, just a list of bullets where you summarize the main points. On the other hand, um, if you work with a client, for example, or if this is a, is a more official meeting, then you can also use a protocol form which will be provided by your client or by your firm. And believe me, everyone will be very thankful if you do this because writing the protocol is usually a task that most of the people don't want to do. So this is one way to support them, actively take notes and write the protocol. 
Tip number two that I can give to you is that you provide detailed information in a meeting. So if you work in a consulting team, then you will notice that the senior people are mainly responsible for managing the overall project and that they are not too much into detail because most of the time, the more junior people are responsible for doing the detailed analysis um, of each stream. And very often in meetings, the client has a very specific questions about a certain topic. And sometimes the senior people are not able to answer this question. And this is a great way where you can support by providing this kind of information. So for example, what I did as a junior back then was to actively think about possible questions that people could raise during a meeting. And I made sure that I had all of the backup slides available. Or for example, if we were discussing a certain business model, that I had a list of all the assumptions available or at least quick access to the detailed numbers. And this helped me to react very quickly and to provide detailed information very quickly if there was a question from the client. And obviously this makes a very good impression if you can answer even the most detailed questions in a very quick way. Tip number three is that you do the organizational tasks. So as always, especially the senior people are very busy in consulting and they are very happy if you support them doing their tasks. And one great way to support them is that you take responsibility of the organizational tasks. So for example, this might include sharing the minutes or the protocol, but also organizing follow-up meetings, sending invites or managing documents. Tip number four is that you actively contribute to your meeting. And as I said in the beginning, if you attend a meeting, it's very important that you contribute to it, especially as a consultant. Keep in mind that people are usually spending a lot of money for you. So if you're attending a meeting and not contributing, people will ask themselves what they pay for. So make sure that you contribute to every meeting, but also make sure that you contribute in a very balanced way. And as I said in the beginning, there are two extremes. The one extreme is to not talk at all in a meeting and the other extreme is to talk all the time and to be annoying. And obviously you want to be somewhere in the middle. But how active you actually contribute depends on many variables. So for example, it depends on your knowledge on the topic. It depends on um, the kind of people who are attending. It depends on the length of the meeting, on the purpose of the meeting. So over the time, you need to develop a certain uh, feeling about how much you actually should contribute. So one rule of thumb that I used back then was to contribute at least one or two very valuable things within 30 minutes. So this might include asking a very clever question, providing a information or um, actively engaging in the discussion. So these were the four tips. So just to recap, it's first to taking notes and writing the protocol. It's second to provide detailed information. It's uh, third to support by doing the organizational tasks and it's fourth to contribute to the meeting. Of course, I'm interested what you think about these tips and if you have other tips for junior consultants. So please actively engage by writing a comment below. Also, if you like the video and if you want to receive more content about your career in management consulting, then please subscribe to this channel, leave a thumb up and also hit the bell button. So with that being said, I thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great and successful day. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.